Right, welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we're going to be taking apart this um, CD pad to see what we've got inside it. Right, so I've come across this old um, CD player, so it's got no power pack with it and uh, I don't know if it works or not, but I'm not interested in that. I'm just going to take it apart and uh, see what's inside it. I've just ordered um, this US Pro extra long security bit set for um, some of these projects because um, on some of these things they have security screws or screws on them and um, I thought it's just handy to get a set and it, I mean it comes with a 50 piece set in it um, they're handy to have anyway even if I don't use them on this project So I'm just going to take a look in here to see what screws it is. They look like they're just normal cross-head Phillips screws. So um, let's see if that fits. We'll give that a go. We'll put the extension on because they're a deep reach. Using the old Dewalt, Dewalt um, driver. Got a battery tray there, so we'll take that off. There's no screws in there, so that could have stayed on. So, yeah, so that, that's a problem. See, they're not even long enough, then, so we might need a screwdriver for these ones. There's a fair old nice circuit board in there. Uh, Alright, so we've got a good sized circuit board there. A um, couple of speakers on either side. So we'll start taking this apart and separating it from the plastics and see what um, good stuff we can get out of it. Alright then, just going to get my screws in there. Circuit board there. I don't know if that's actually gold on there, is it? You'll be able to, someone in the comments will be able to tell me. I don't think it will be. But I'll be able to test it a while later. Then. Let's 
Let's get this big uh, circuit board off here. And I'll save time though with these drills. Sounds a bit burnt in there. That's the CD driver. You can see the laser there. Open it up. Just not playing ball that one. There we go. So I've got a little motor in there. A few other bits, I'll get them keys off. Plenty of screws. Yeah, that's the display module there. That'll have your volume on it, I suppose. Some switches. That's your uh, volume dial. Oh yeah. Get the screws out of there. See what else we got in here. Uh, a bit of cable. Aerial. Might give that to the old man for the old triumph Speaker, the speakers, um, I will take them speaker covers off. There's a few screws to take out of there, which I'll get them out. You don't need to see me do that. 
Um, yeah, so let's have a recap what we got. A couple of speakers, not much there. Um, yeah, I'll say I'd, this is all new to me, this, so anyone in the comments want to uh, tell me what the best thing to do with these these chips, whether they're just to put a, collect them in a bag and get rid of them like that, or would you take certain things off? Um, if you leave a comment and just let me know, because I say I don't, I've not dealt with this sort of stuff before. Is there certain things I need to look out for on there, or is it just a matter of collecting them and just taking them down the scrapyard? Weighing them in as a job lot. Do I leave them wires on? Do I take them off? If um, anybody can give me any help on that information, it'll be much appreciated. So uh, I'm going to leave it here for now. I'm going to get all that plastic recycled. Uh, I will just take all the wires off and just collect the chips for now until I, I've done a bit of research and found out what the best route to go is with this sort of stuff so but yeah I mean leave your comments down below um, I know there's a few scrapping people now following my channel so I'd like to hear from them if they're possible uh, what they would do if this was theirs anyway we'll leave it there now I'm starting to ramble um, if you ain't already don't forget to subscribe and until then see you next time